Hey, I'm Cher, and welcome to Readings, Aries. Aries, have you been wanting to start something over? Have you started something, then gave up halfway through? And thought, no, I've got to start over. Because I've had to start your reading over twice now. So, I get a feeling that maybe you might be dissatisfied with something. That it just doesn't seem to be good enough. It doesn't have your all in all. So, there could be a feeling that maybe you're feeling that you've started something. But you're not quite pleased with it. Before we do your reading, we're going to pull a Psychic Tarot Oracle card. These are by John Holland. Let's give him a break. And we have Crown Chakra. Crown Chakra. I don't know. I just have some kind of feeling that something's coming over me here. It's number seven. Crown Chakra. Where is that chakra? Let me find the chakras here. There we go. One, six, five. One, six, five. One, six, five. Wow, it's way back there. The end of the book. Yes, it is. And it's the very last one in the book. Crown Chakra. So the key facts is the color violet. The sound is none. There is no sound. It's absolutely still and silent. But OM can be used. The element is thought. The gland is a pineal gland. And the key words, I know, I know. Let's find out what this is all about. Crown chakra, I know. The crown, crown chakra is located at the top of the head and has been called the thousand petaled lotus. The thousand petaled lo lotus or the receiver of light. This chakra is the center of your link with the uni universe, the infinite, and your higher consciousness. It's a connection between wisdom and spiritual insight. The crown center is the area where ethereal light and energy are received and then dispersed throughout your aura for total well-being. The bal to balance this chakra, I find that meditation, breath work, yoga, spiritual healing, acupuncture, and color therapy work best. When properly aligned, your crown chakra will expand to a point where it's possible to access and tap into the deepest sources of wisdom. Whew. <laughs> Aries. Okay, before we do your reading, there's just one more I want to pick for you. This is an Angel and Gemstones Guardian card. And these are by Margaret Ann Lembo. Angels and Gemstone Guardian cards. Margaret M. Lembo. So, Margaret Ann Lembo, sorry. I want to pick one for you. Just to see if we can match up with that psychic tarot card. Yes, indeed. Indeed you do. It is the angel of meditation. And the gem is a pophilite. A pophil light. Read it. A pophil light. Do you wish to gain a better understanding of a situation? It's time to meditate and sit in silence. Open your consciousness and listen for your soul's truth 
and embrace it without judgment. Mental clarity and self-acceptance are gifts of a regular meditation practices. So we got crown chakra, meditation, and receiving wisdom from the universe. And we have the angel of meditation to receive wisdom from the universe. Well, uh, I'm going to have to say, Aries, that you're probably, um, you're probably trying to do a good work within yourself. The spirit is very much in the room. We're going to do your reading with the Radiant Rider Weight. Aries. Breathe it in. I have a feeling that there's something that is left undone. Because you're not happy with how it's been worked on so far. What is this? What is it that you're unhappy with? And that you feel you must start again. Let's see if we can find out. Let's get her on. And let's get her done. Aries. Aries. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. Aries, you know what? I don't know what you're going through. But damn, you're going through. Whatever it is. Uh, whatever you're seeking, it's seeking you. Three of Cups. Let's celebrate. I mean, seriously, I've been liking the readings lately. The readings have been very positive late, lately, and I've been really liking them. And I'm glad to see we're starting off here on a good foot. So the Ace of Pentacles, this is something being given to you from the Divine. From the Universe, from your God, your Source. And an ace is usually either blessings in either money or blessings in wisdom. Or it could be blessings in good health. Whatever it is, it's let's celebrate. Coming along with star card, great possibilities, miracles. Great possibilities and miracles. Death card followed by the world. Something has ended. Something has been put to rest in order to relive and revive. So it's either something, some kind of loss in order to gain and then stepping from one cycle into another. This loss could be gain, whatever it is. But you are, like you're doing a hell of a job. Stepping from one cycle and into the next. Cheers. Let's shuffle. Aries. So we're moving into a new cycle. With the Nine of Pentacles, this is what I like to call the tickety-boo card. Not only is it wealth, success, um, success of knowledge, wisdom, but it is also the tickety-boo card. This is walking through your garden, much like the queen walking through the garden, the fertile, going up into the attic. And getting rid of things that no longer serve you. Bagging things up and throwing them out. Cleaning up. So you're feeling an end to love. You're feeling that there's nobody coming back. When I have the Knight of Cups in the reverse, it shows that there's nobody coming back. Or at least that's how you feel. 
And I will say it was devastating. It was probably one of the most painful things you've ever had to go through. With the Ten of Swords. But the Ten of Swords is not only a powerful and painful ending, but it is a new beginning. The dawn rises. Just can't see the dawn. He lays beside water, but yet he can't see the water. There's mountains in behind, so even after drinking and seeing that a new dawn arises, there are still mountains to climb. It doesn't just all of a sudden become easy. I really do feel that whatever has happened here, this pain that you've gone through, I, I do feel that maybe your, your cries have been heard. That you're probably feeling someone next to you. With the Queen of Cups coming out here and the King of Wands. Now I don't know which one this one was, but one was passion. One was full of passion. And the spirits tell me it was a passion for life. Well, yeah, a passion for that too. And maybe a passion of anger, too. But Spirit's telling me that you had a passion for life. And there was another who stood by with an outstretched hand and a cup, waiting for it to be filled. Aries, I don't think you could fill that cup. I think they were shoes that were too big to walk in. I, I think that your passion for life over exceeded filling someone's cup or settling down. What is this painful ending? I think you wanted, I think you had a very good time with somebody here. I think you had a great passion for them. But I think they wanted more than you could give. And that's exactly what it is with the Six of Cups. Now, does this person feel the same way? Yeah, I think this person wants to talk to you. But I don't think they are. Because you don't feel it. All you feel or felt was this very painful ending. You felt there was no one coming. Now, this could be mirroring each other. I can wait you out. Or this could be, well, if you're not going to call, I'm not going to call. This is possibly two stubborn people. But there is a soulmate from the past that would love to talk to you. Ace of Wands coming out here. Followed by the Knight of Swords reversed. Followed by the Three of Pentacles reversed. And this is what I have, Aries, is that you have a great passion for life. You have learned a lot in the past year, two years, or however long things were happening before you began to suffer. You learned a lot. You learned a lot about you. You learned that you are your answer. That you, that the answer is within you. Aries, what I'm picking up here is this whole brand new beginning. You don't even think twice about it. I think you enjoyed someone's company very much, but I think you weren't interested in much more than that. It's good friends, maybe friends with benefits. But I don't see that there was much else. On the other side, I do see someone waiting to have the cup filled by someone who is a free spirit. That will never happen. A free spirit will never fill your cup that way. But will fill your life with another free spirit 
will teach you how to be a free spirit. But I don't think that they can, that a free spirit can teach you how to have a relationship. With the three of pentacles in the reverse, this is no rebuilding on this hope. But yet there is a lot of sexual gratification here. There's a lot of sexual desire for someone. And through the sexual desire, one thought that it was something else, and the other thought it was it was it was just nice. It was just comrades and friends. But there is no rebuilding here with somebody. But there is someone here that wants to talk. But you know what? They won't even come forth. They won't come forth. With the judgment card in the reverse and the four of swords, this is healing from the past. This is the past not rising. I don't know what's happening here, but I really do feel that someone's probably expecting you to get in touch with them. And you might be thinking, well, they're not talking to me, so I guess it's over. So this is judgment reversed. There's nobody coming back. I don't know why. They're waiting for you and you're waiting for them. But with the Four of Swords, this is healing. I do see you healing from this soulmate connection. Although it's very hard because you feel very, very strongly connected to them. With the uh, Queen of Pentacles here, as again, I was talking about walking through the garden. This is wealth. This is success. Walking through this beautiful garden which once was full of thorns and old plant pots and but this is a renewed garden overgrowing with beauty fresh soil but there's something that you don't see there's something that is very much shrouded that you don't see spirit Please, don't give us anything bad. <laughs> what you don't see, Aries, is that you're not really staying on course. Now, we get feeling better, all right? Okay? So when we're, like, down in a hole, we're down in a hole, we're feeling like crap, and what do we do? Oh, please, God, please. Well, what I'm seeing here, Aries, is... Well, you kind of waited for someone to show up, and they didn't. I'm also seeing that you're a free spirit, and they probably wanted something much more and much deeper that you just couldn't give. I also see there's blessings here. There's um, spirit, wisdom, gifts. There's great possibilities with the start of stepping from one cycle and into the other. And I do see you stepping from that cycle, from that cycle of doom and gloom and sadness that you went through where you called upon source. But what you don't see is that now that things are getting better, you're not staying on course. See, we slide again. You're not staying on course with the sun. This is health, healing, well-being, success, joy, happiness. It will be presented to you, but you must stay on course. Just because I'm feeling better, I'm back on my feet, I'm out in the world again, I'm not hurting and in pain anymore, I'm good, I'm solid, I'm on my way. And then there's not so much meditation and, and calling out 
Because what you're not seeing is a queen of pentacles. Success, joy, money. What you're not seeing is you're not staying on course with it. And, and you know what just happens many, many times to many of us, we fall back. Until the next freaking disaster. And then we call out again. And then we get feeling good and feeling better. And then we get busy with our lives and we forget. and Or we don't have the time and then we fall back. So what you don't see is that you're going to fall back. Because of success. So. The angel of meditation has come up. For your reading. And not only that. The crown chakra itself. The point where light enters. And this light brings wisdom. And healing throughout your entire body. And I have no, I, no doubt. That this is going to happen or this is happening. Just don't lose sight of how you receive these things. Always stop in the middle of that busy day and the success. Always stop and, and take just a little bit of time to say thank you and, and to just sit in silence. For a few moments. Bless your heart, darling. Who have we got here? Virgo. Aries. Pisces. Leo. Aquarius. Sagittarius. Pisces. Virgo again. Scorpio. And Leo. Okay, um, Aries, this is your reading. You're on your way to the top of that ladder. When you get there, just try to balance yourself at that top. Balance the world and balance the crown chakra. Keep it, keep it balanced. Don't don't fall down a couple of rungs. And not even notice. I want to thank you for joining me today. And if you like the way I read, please like, share, and on your way out, reach back and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell so that you'll know next time that Spirit and I are in the room to speak with you. Hit that thumbs on the way out, darling. I appreciate that. Namaste, Aries.